and the reason people are eating a lot of food today, one of the reasons is, is because they have they feel low on energy, so they keep eating until they have feel they have more energy, and that's one of the reasons for obesity. And then after that, it becomes a habit, and so they carry on. So, uh, I the other part of this is the two edged sword. You get better absorption when you're on a magnetic pad, so you're going to get more. Uh, nutrition going into the body. So I am uh, I have not done any study on this. However, at John Hopkins, we had a, uh, did a study with six OB mice, and they're called knockout OB mice, where they actually ruin the, uh, the mechanism in the mice that actually determines whether you mobilize the fat out of the body and use it for energy or whether you don't. And so we put these in the strong MME at 5,000 gauss, and in one week, we completely repaired that genetic defect. So and the mice lost 25% of their weight because they were already overweight because of this genetic defect that was caused by genetic engineering. Wow. That's wild. Can you explain how the magnetic field being lowered impacts depression or is causal in the area of depression? And whatever studies that you've looked at and whatever evidence you have to share about that. I would suggest people go to Dr. Robert O. Becker's book, Cross Current, because he talks about that a great deal. You see... Uh, when your energy level drops, and I say energy, vitality drops, your brain is is depressed because you can't do the things that you would like to do. You can't even think. Your brain is muddled, and you become very depressed. And so when we have people sleeping on the magnetic pad, they build up their their the ability of the brain to make electricity, and and they along with that they begin to think. It's just uh, a lot clearer. So we find that people. Uh, a good example of this: we've done quite a few cases of attention deficit disorder, and these kids are uh, in trouble. But when we put them on the magnetic pad, uh, they jump a grade at school. In other words, they jump from an A to I mean, from a C to a B or whatever. We jump one grade because they have the energy to think. And when, when you're running out of energy, you can't think. You're in a, uh, shall we say, kind of a, a comatose state. And this leads to depression because you, you think, well, I can't do anything. And, and so you just keep on, shall we say, deteriorating. So really by providing more energy to the brain, uh, it helps. But we also make uh, the brain make more serotonin, which is the hormone that is usually deficient in these people because, again, we're ha- enhancing the chemistry in the brain. So it's it's a two-way thing here. It's making more serotonin and and actually providing more energy to the person so they they feel more worthwhile and and feel they can do things that they used to do when they were a kid. So it feels like and it sounds like there's no way to overdo enhancing your magnetic field because we're so depleted. That is correct. Do you think yeah. that we would ever overdo our magnetic field inputs? Well, I wondered about that because uh, I, from talking to the geologists about the level of magnetic field that the dinosaurs are buried in, and it was 300 gauss, and we're down to a half a gauss now. And I've made now uh, two uh, or three now very powerful magnetic beds. Uh, one was, two of them were 300 gauss, and people slept on them every night. And the other one I made, uh, two others I made at 500 gauss. Now, this is a quite a substantial increase over what you we have now, a thousand times more, huh? Right. So this is a, a good experiment. We wanted to know if the uh, 500 gauss bed would reverse aging, and so we're working on that, and the people are having uh, a great deal of energy and doing very well. The other one I used on a lady, uh, this is an 80-year-old lady that had a stroke, and she was paralyzed on one side and had couldn't speak. And in one year now, she's completely normal, so it rebuilt her brain. So uh, and she sleeps on it every night, so it doesn't do any 
any harm to her. Other people that were healthy, we were doing the anti-aging thing. Uh, they found no problem with it whatsoever. It sounds like you've been doing this for years. How many years have you had this pad? That's been out now for 21 years. Isn't it amazing how you can develop something that's ahead of its time and basically you have to wait on the civilization to get the new knowledge, to absorb it, and to then run with it? You would think that they would have picked it up a lot. You know, we did an epidemiological study back in... Uh, Oh, this is over 10 years ago, and this is uh, back east, and we, uh, with the university, they set up the parameters of the study uh, with the University of Virginia, and this was just a small epidemiological study, 925 people over three and a half years. And the reason we did this study, we wanted to see what the long-term effects of sleeping on a magnetic pad every night, and this is just the five Gauss one. We found, because uh, we kept records on these people, we found that we had a 78% reduction in the new incidence of cancer on these people as compared to this age-matched people on the Center for Disease Control study. So this was a properly done study. And an 87% reduction in the new incidence of cardiovascular disease. Now, this brings us up, why is this? It's major, uh, major. It's, ma it's major. Every person in the United States should be sleeping on the five gas pad to reduce the cost of Medicare and, you know, the, and the pain and the suffering. And you'd think that somebody would have grabbed onto that. You know who I think should be getting these beds? The veterans. Everyone, every one of them should be on it. You know what we found recently, uh, since I talked to you last? Tell us. This is an interesting story about cardiovascular disease. There was, I was lecturing on this at a, uh, at a medical meeting, it was an ACAM meeting, and uh, the uh, doctor comes up afterwards and says, well, he says, uh, I got a challenge for you. I have three of my patients I've been giving uh, EDTA chelation with phosphatidylcholine and ethylopoic acid and high doses of vitamin C, all these things, and and they still have angina, and they have 60 to 80 percent occlusion of their coronary arteries, and we know that because we're sending them down to UCLA uh, Medical School and having them tested every year to see if we're making any headway. So far, we've made no headway. Now, you send me the magnetic pads, and we'll uh, put them under these three people because we have a baseline, and we'll see what happens. We won't change anything else except the magnetic pad. In one year, all three of these people got rid of their angina, and they had a 60 to 80% reduction in the plaque in their coronary arteries. Wow. Now, now, we've carried this on just using DMSA and our magnetic pad at another site with a cardiologist, and we're finding exactly the same thing. Do you find that the doctors are open to you now? There's way more doctors that are getting wind of this? Uh, unfortunately, I don't think so. Uh, it's the matter of, uh, <laughs> let's put it this way. The doctors are being pressed more every day financially. Uh, the insurance companies are cutting back and deducting from their premiums. Uh, the government is doing the same thing. And so uh, MDs are basically in a financial bind. And so they are not looking at anything that's uh, going to, shall we say, detract from their income. That's sad. Actually, nature paths are, are a lot more open than, than MDs at this point, even though they're sleeping on the magnetic pads themselves. Absolutely fascinating. Do you think that the economy of scale, the cost of these pads will go way down if there is a higher volume of people that know about it and are using it? Like, what would it take to bring the cost down so it's more accessible to more people? And I'm sure that you do it at the best price you can do it to be in the business. But I was just wondering. That's a, that's a good question. Uh, let's put it this way. We couldn't go any lower than we are now. Without right, I understand. Problem. The cost of the magnets has doubled. The cost of the foam has doubled. Uh, you know, everything has doubled over the last 10 years. And yet we've kept our price the same. And uh, this is, uh, so we're getting.